I'm Erin Warren and welcome to my channel where we share tips and tricks on how you can use technology in your classroom. Today we're going to focus on a new emerging trend incorporating social media in the classroom. Now I know what you're thinking. Those kids are on social media all the time. Why would I give them more? Well, hear me out. What if we use their favorite thing for education? for our own benefit of learning. And I'm gonna show you how. Megan Poor, the author of Using Social Media in the Classroom, defines social media as any digital platform that can be used to communicate and for people to share information and resources. So that means things like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and Snapchat all count and we can use them in our classroom. So here are my top three ways that you can use social media and what they do for our kids. Number three, using Pinterest for idea sharing and research projects. So this is an idea from the University of Southern California where students create boards centered around a specific research topic. So for example, if I wanted my students to research Native Americans, they could choose a website that fits what they're looking for and then save it to a board. Now this could be done collectively as a group, this could be done individually, or it could be done as a whole class. Um, once it's saved to the board, it's a collection of pictures and videos and articles all relevant to this one research topic. This provides an opportunity for collaboration, interaction with varied perspectives, and social networking. Number two, using Instagram for a classroom gallery walk. Now I teach cooking classes, so I could have my students post pictures of their final food products from lab, or they could do a how-to cooking video, or even a public service announcement for something like food safety. But this can be done in lots of other subject areas. For example, you could post pictures of your students' artwork, you could do poetry, you could do even a gallery of short stories or an infographic about a historical figure but you would use a hashtag that was specific to your classroom and that should facilitate a conversation. All of these things help with collaboration, creativity, social networking, teaching responsible digital citizenship, and provides access to a global audience. And finally, number one, using Snapchat to share real world examples and practice vocabulary. This idea comes from the blog Ditch That Textbook, where students use Snapchat to practice vocabulary terms. For example, here, the students are using it to practice math concepts, um, or you could have them identify shapes, or you could even have an ESL student who's practicing labeling things in English. The most exciting idea is for students to be able to use this to showcase real world examples of the concepts that you're teaching in class. For example, you could use this to identify the types of energy that you see or a physics equation that's come to life. With both uses, students are able to explore real world applications, they're using higher order thinking skills, and we're able to increase literacy. So there you have it. Social media really is a great tool in our classrooms, and not to mention how it increases student engagement and motivation. For more information and other great resources, check out my infographic. You can find the link in the description box below. If you liked what you heard today, give me a like and a comment. See you next time.